All right, let's get to actually where we're meant to go. Mind you, the milk cow isn't going to be there for another six days. Slow down to three, give it some time maybe, give it a little extra oomph. Okay, so the milk cow is tasked to go to CC5. CC5's down this wise. We may want to start making our way towards it. Let's go like this and we'll cut south. Give it a little more time to get to the sector uh, that we want it to. Is there really any purpose for Dexa Wash? Yes, if you were coming up to a target and you don't want them to see you, but you want to take a shot on the surface, or if you desperately need to get, I don't know, maybe you don't have a snorkel, but you really need a bit of air, maybe to charge up your batteries just a little bit, you could go Dexa Wash and get intermittent uh, diesel engines and air, and it'll keep your profile low enough that if you're far enough away, your target might not see you. So there is a point to Dexa Wash. All right, we are in the sector that they're going to be in. We'll go to roughly the middle, and then we'll just uh, sort of hang out. Group. Interesting. The first time I ever saw a milk cow, I plowed into the side of the goddamn thing. I have that video on my YouTube, by the way. <laughs> I plowed directly into it. It was not my finest hour. There it is. Ship has made it to our sector. Fantastic stuff. Let's go ahead and call in for a supply. All right, so 3842 by 5052. We'll be there for 19 hours. That puts her just over here. Let's go say hello, everybody. Uh, cargo, please. Let's see what we've got aboard. We've got some spare parts, which we want pretty much a lot of. Let's ditch this. Let's get as many as we can take currently. Want fuel? Pedo. Let's take a T3. Um, we may want to take another rebreather. Let's go ahead and do that. These hours have been uh, a little set upon, unfortunately. All right. You boat off duty for eight hours. Let's go. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is plot a course back up to the sector in which we're supposed to be hunting. I'm thinking we want to go towards Nova Scotia so we can pick up a bunch of stuff coming along that way. All right, Val. Let's see if you can find me something to shoot at. Aha! Okay, 20 to 40. Heading roughly towards our position, which is perfect. We are going to stay underwater. We're going to stay underwater on the big ears with the snorkel up. Yes, this is my plan. What can I do here? I need tonnage. Just slide down a bit. And then start coming up after this guy's gone by and hope for the best. That's the play. I still have to warm torpedoes as well. So this is going to be a bit of a gamble here. Alright, that's a 90. That's as close to a 90 as I'm willing to get. Let's get a T3 and a backup T1 ready to go. And hope like hell they don't hear us doing this. Alright, so far so good. Let's get a T... Let's get another T1 going. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. All right, let's start bringing the boat up to periscope depth. So while that's happening, we're going to go ahead and get courses and speeds, etc. All right, my closest shots are a little over four, four kilometers. So I might have to wait until I'm right here. You know what I mean? Like when this spot is in front of me, that might be my shots. 97 on the nose. All right, 6.8 and 97. That's what we're dealing with. Oop, wrong one. 6.8 and 97 degrees for a course. This guy too. 6.8 and niner, 7. Okay, these are my two shots here. Okay, so he's 5k there and he's 45. Okay, so let's call this guy 50. G, you know, let's just call it 5k for the sake of argument. Let's T up this. I want a T3. No, I want a T1 for this guy. So it's going behind that warship. I want it to turn to the left at 5,500 meters, if it even makes it that far. We're going to keep depth two and a half, and we're going to launch. All right, now this fella is approximately here. He's 4,500. 4,500-ish meters, right? 
We're going to go with a T3 for him. We want it at the, sure, 5,700 meter mark. We want it to turn left at approximately 94 degrees, let's say. 2.5 meter depth. What have we got distance-wise since I fired? Probably around pretty close to go time now. Just give it a second and fire. I shot this one too late. I waited a little bit too late. This one's probably going to miss. This one's got a good chance. Okay, it's an Empire type. Uh, looks like a Bell. It's looking pretty good overall. Nicely done, boys. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. All right, this one could be a miss now because that ship is going to slam on her brakes. Oh, and it's a Liberty. I'm pro I think I'm going to miss that ship. It's going to be close, but it's not a hit. It's not a hit, no. Sunset Park is calling for help. All right, not a hit. That's okay. All right, this guy won't be able to hear me. So what I'm thinking is we're going to get a little deeper. Let ourselves drift down a wee bit, and then we're going to get into this convoy. All right, this guy's on attack of, um, I don't know, like 20? 20 degrees. He's uh, about 1,600 meters away, let's call it. 1,660 is fine. Speed will be fairly, maybe around 7. And where's my T5? There she is, magnetic trigger. Let's say a 3 meter depth. We'll uh, try to play the odds on this one. And firing and dropping. Firing and dropping. All right, torpedo is away. Oh, okay. Ooh. I mean, that'll do it, right? All right, we're at the surface, more or less. This here warship is going to be going roughly 270 by the time we launch. So let's call it that. Let's say she's what? Oh, she's about 600 meters away, give or take. Six hundred. Uh, probably doing a little bit higher, maybe more like eight. No, maybe more like nine knots actually. And let's punch this baby out. We'll keep it at three meters. That worked out really well. Uh, let's change this to five fifty for distance. Flooding and firing. We are killing the engines and we are dropping like a stone. All right, T five is more or less locked on. She's running a little deep, but that might do more for us, to tell you the truth. This thing is really kicking up the speed, though. Oh. Oh. Hello. Getting closer. Hi. <laughs> uh, it's so funny when that happens. It's really funny that way. Okay, I'm thinking this is a good time to... I'm thinking maybe pop a pill or I might just sit low and all will be well. A boop! It's a boop moment, my guy. Alright, we're going to poke our nose out of the water here momentarily. In fact, I'm going to stop the boat right there. Come up to the surface. Well, not the surface exactly, but periscope depth. Periscope depth at the very least. And uh, we'll figure out what's on the go. Alright, those propellers are fair distance off. So that's quite pleasing. So long as they're better than 11 kilometers, we're solid. We are indeed solid. They cannot possibly get behind us quickly enough to cause any alarm. All right, speaking of alarm, let's get this baby to the surface. Get our uh, deck gun rocking and uh, sink the crap out of this here boat. We've got some lifeboats. Let's go ahead and grab the skipper mechanic. Dick, Dick Winter. Winter. Fantastic name. I, th I think I saw a couple movies with him in it. And uh, take a couple of survivors on board here. Why not? A couple of survivors on board. Mr. Skeptical, let's grab the deck gun, buddy. He's getting all kinds of sunken. All kind of synced. Synced down to the bottom of the sea. Fire on. There she goes. She gone. She gone. That was Jurassic Park, I know, but it works. Shush. 
Shush. Don't ask questions.